Uh, Chris Chinock here for Display Central. I'm here in the multi-touch uh, booth. Uh, the company's multi-touch, but they, uh, they really brand their product multi-taction. Uh, and that's a, it's a, a touch panel solution uh, that is actually kind of unique in the market. It's a very different technology. So let me explain how this works. Uh, what they do is, is basically modify the backlight of a standard uh, LCD panel. So they buy the panel, remove the backlight. And then uh, in the backlight, they have uh, both LEDs, uh, standard white LEDs for illumination, direct, uh, direct backlight uh, configuration. They also have uh, infrared LEDs, and they have a series of infrared cameras. So the white LEDs obviously illuminate the, the backlight as, for, as normal. Uh, the L uh, infrared LEDs illuminate the, uh, the panel as well. And then the cameras uh, can detect that infrared uh, uh, energy when you touch the panel. So by touching the panel, putting your finger on it, it creates a reflection path. Uh, and so that infrared en energy can come back to the sensor. Uh, that allows them to do uh, essentially infinite number of touches, but 10 is obviously how many fingers you have. Uh, so that's a practical number. Uh, and it's very fast. So this is updating uh, 100 to 200 frames a second. So ve very quick uh, multi-finger uh, uh, multi applications and, and interaction. Uh, so that uh, that ends up being uh, a, a device that's um, I think he said oh I forget a cup eight I think it was eight inches or so uh, thick uh, is the uh, the result of that um, because you have to have some distance for the infrared light to spread out and the cameras to sense it. Uh, now they offer this in 42 inch uh, devices. They also offer it in 55 inch and a thin bezel model. That's what they're showing back here. Uh, this is a four by three uh, wall, uh, very large, very impressive, uh, each panel being uh, full HD resolution. Uh, this is driven by a single PC uh, and has two GPUs with uh, uh, six heads on each. Uh, so it can be driven with one PC. Uh, and then within uh, each panel itself, there's also electronics board in back of that, which is another PC essentially. Uh, which has the algorithms uh, and detection electronics for doing the, uh, the touch sensor uh, solution. So the, the hardware is, is very impressive, uh, but they've also added a very innovative uh, application layer on, on top of this. Uh, so you, 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 you touch the panel and it brings up a kind of a constellation star uh, of applications that you can start to choose from. Uh, so you can have um, uh, videos that display, you can have uh, you can actually put a, uh, a, a, an optically, uh, like a barcode type of card uh, on top of the panel, which has a personal identifier. So if you're going into a facility or a museum, you can get your own card. You put it onto the screen, it recognizes it, um, and you can pull up personal information at, at that point. Or re other related information to that, to that card or, or, or object. Now this has to be a very large code because the pattern has to actually go through the LCD uh, TFT matrix, uh, the aperture ratio matrix. So it's and and you don't have a lot of infrared cameras to, to sense this, uh, but it does work. It does work. Um, and they also have uh, other applications that they've they've talked about in installations in museums, for example. Uh, they talked about uh, an application where you had a row of these uh, at kind of a, a person level, chest level, and then above that a big screen with an aquarium. Uh, so. Lots of ways to interact with this thing. Multiple people on it. Uh, it's a little uh, the biz the booth is not too busy right now, but it was very busy just a few minutes ago. Uh, so that very innovative application, a very innovative technology. Uh, uh, also, one other application that's showing here with a new partner called uh, Bluescape uh, is a web-based collaboration. So this is a new software application. Uh, where you can basically have your assets located in the cloud. They have an application layer. So this becomes, again, a kind of a public uh, or a meeting room kind of collaboration tool with assets pulled in uh, and stored and interacted uh, via the cloud. So th that's it uh, from the multi-touch, multi-taction booth here at Infocom 2013. Chris Chinock for Display Central.